This is Info Live TV headline news, June 26th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. Palestinian terrorists in the Gaza Strip fired a Qassam rocket at the Western Negev on Thursday, threatening to further derail an already shaky week old truce. The rocket exploded in an open area near a Negev industrial zone. There were no injuries or damages in the incident. Meanwhile, Israel kept the crossings to the Gaza Strip closed on Thursday in response to the continued rocket fire. Israel has said that it prefers to release Palestinian prisoners in the Gaza Strip rather than the West Bank as part of its prisoner swap with Hamas in exchange for abducted IDF soldier Gilad Shalit. Defense officials fear that freeing terrorists in the West Bank could weaken Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and strengthen Hamas. Israel presented Egyptian mediators with revised terms on Thursday, which it hopes will advance the prisoner exchange for Gilad Shalit. Israel and Hezbollah have prepared a written agreement on a prisoner exchange deal which will be voted upon on Sunday by the cabinet. If approved, Israel will sign the agreement and then send it to Beirut through German mediators for Hezbollah to sign. The deal aims to secure the release of IDF reservist Ehud Goldwasser and Eldad Regev, who were captured in a cross-border raid by Hezbollah in July 2006, sparking the Second Lebanon War. The Quartet of Middle East Peacekeepers decided this week to pursue the organization of a regional conference in Moscow in November. The Quartet, comprised of Russia, the United States, the UN, and the European Union, reached a decision at a conference in Berlin on Tuesday. A Jerusalem source said that the conference is set to provide the stage for either the signing of an Israeli-Palestinian peace agreement or a joint statement on the course of negotiations planned for 2009. North Korea submitted its long-awaited declaration detailing its nuclear weapons activities to China on Thursday, paving the way for the nation to receive economic aid. The former international pariah is set to blow up the cooling tower of its nuclear complex on Friday, officially marking the end of its nuclear ambitions. In response to the turnaround in policy, U.S. President George W. Bush said he will lift key trade sanctions against North Korea and remove it from the U.S. terrorism blacklist. The U.S. dollar on Thursday registered a 0.38 percent drop, and its exchange rate is currently set at 3.375 shekels. The Jerusalem Gay Pride Parade kicked off today amid threats of violence against the participants by far-right extremists. Members of the gay community and their supporters convened at 4 p.m. at Jerusalem's Independence Park and have begun marching towards the Liberty Bell Park. No disturbances have yet been reported. Thank you for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.